Howdy everybody, welcome to the fish house, uh, Bill the Tractor Man here. I know we've had like three cancer videos in a row now, and uh, they're pretty depressing compared to tractor videos. Don't worry, I do have some tractor videos coming up. Uh, I gotta order a water pump for the Ford 861. That needs some radiator work too. Uh, it's just been really cold this January, so tractor stuff hasn't been happening. But anyway, um, this video is about the chemo medication I'm on, which is uh, Voronigo or Voracidinib uh, is another name for it. Um, I'm on a 40 milligram, which is pretty much the standard. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about this. It is a chemo. And uh, then towards the end of the video, uh, I'll talk about how it's been uh, the last five weeks, a little over a month that I've been on it. So uh, I have notes so that I try and keep this as right as possible because I know you guys will call me out if you do know about it. And I, I want to make sure I give the right information too. Uh, so this is primarily a chemo that's directed towards people that have had a, a craniotomy, uh, which I did about a year, a little over a year ago. Um, and uh, it is for people who have a grade two, maybe grade three, but more grade two astrocytoma or oleo, oligodendro uh, glioma. I'm sure I'm saying that wrong. Uh, mouth full, full of marbles here because tumor thing. Um, I talked about it before where my tumor is in the communication part of my brain. Um, so this primarily affects and treats the IDH1 and 2 mutations. So you, you have to have those mutations for this to be what you need and to be most effective. <clears throat> uh, they want you to take this before you try more aggressive chemos. You'll notice it's wind, it's uh, shaky in here. It's windy outside and I'm not on the lake today. Uh, I just figured it'd be the best place to make the video today. Anyway, uh, so the IDH1 and 2 uh, mutations make energy for cells in the body. And when you have uh, IDH1 and 2 mutated cancer, you're making too much energy for the cancer cells, which is helping them grow more. So what this does is it passes through the blood-brain barrier, say that three times fast, the blood-brain barrier to slow or stop that energy transfer so that hopefully it will slow or stop the growth of the tumor. And I don't know, I haven't heard much about it. I've heard just a little bit, so I don't know how right it is, but maybe even shrink the tumor. But we're not going to get our hopes up for that. We're just going to take what we have read and do know about, um, which is slow or stop. Uh, the unfortunate part about this little body, bottle, bottle of uh, chemo pills here is there's 30 tablets in a bottle, and a bottle costs $45,000, at least from my research. It's a pretty big price tag. And that, that's a hard one to cover. Uh, so thankfully, it was FDA approved back in September, I believe, which was a few months ago. Um, most insurance companies seem to be. We're still really early on, and I'm like one of the first people in the cancer center where I'm at to be on it. So it seems like insurance companies are covering it. But you'll probably want to have... Uh, your eyes open for programs for help. Uh, I think the drug maker has a program. Uh, some of the cancer centers have access to programs to help cover that cost. It's really expensive. Um, this is a big one that we're probably all really worried about, and it's the side effects. Uh, side effects for this chemo is thankfully a lot less compared to other chemos. Uh, that I've researched and uh, radiation and uh, to add to it this would be something you would do before those other chemos and radiations typically uh, to be most effective so there's uh, 
less likely to lose hair, less likely to have nauseous and throwing up and those issues. But there is some concerns about the liver. Um, I have to do labs every two weeks to monitor my liver because it seems like in the study that went on for about eight years on this is that most of the people develop liver issues if they stayed on it for a very extended amount of time and uh, their, their labs would show that they were having some sort of liver impact. Uh, that being said, hopefully I, I don't have those problems. I seem to have a pretty healthy liver from my knowledge and that'll I don't drink either. Um, that was something that I was advised maybe to uh, not partake in at all while taking this just so that my liver's at its best. Um, that being said, here, here's my experience over the last five weeks being on this medication. Uh, in the beginning, I kind of I felt like I felt it getting into my system and it felt a little strange. Uh, I didn't feel very sick from it. Uh, I could kind of feel it in my head, I think, which uh, I don't know how to describe it. Um, I did get sick for a little while. Uh, the kids brought home a uh, stomach bug from school. I don't know if this made it worse or not, um, but I definitely had to use my anti-nausea anti medication for a little while that I got with this and um, that really helped. I got over that uh, since then. Uh, other than I think fatigue would be my my biggest um, side effect. That being said, uh, having cancer and it's winter, um, you get kind of the, the winter blues or cabin fever. Uh, where most people deal with some fatigue also, so I can't say for sure. I know I've felt more fatigue than usual, and then I I think would be normal, so I'll say that fatigue was uh, affected by this. Uh, I'm still able to do most of my daily things. I'm just pretty tired by dinner time. Uh, that being said, my appetite hasn't changed a whole lot with this. And so I, I think the side effects are pretty low. Everybody's going to be be different on it. But anyway, if you're looking for information because you're looking at trying this medication or or you've been prescribed this medication and you want to know what it's going to do to you, I hope this video helped you. I hope that your doctor, your oncologist, whoever is prescribing it, has spent some serious time explaining it to you and has done their research it seems like uh, about 60 to 65 percent of people that have been on this uh, in the research that I've seen do really well for the first two two and a half years and then after that its effectiveness kind of dwindles down a little bit um, but I was willing to join the further program and my information is being uh, collected to hopefully help more people. So anyways, thanks for tuning in. Uh, I hope you do better or get better if you have cancer. I hope you have a long, healthy life if possible. Um, you know, we don't know what's going to happen in life, but thanks for tuning in. Have a good one. Uh, drop your comments down below too. I want to hear how you're doing and answer questions if I can.